Hi everybody, it's Jamie Darka here with Little Monsters Art. I'm an art teacher and I also host creative parties, events, fundraisers for adults and children. Okay, today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step how to draw and then paint um, Poppy Troll with you. Okay, so it'll look similar to this, not exactly. It's gonna be more like this one right here. Okay, so if you purchased a kit from me, thank you very much. You've got all the palette, or I'm sorry, all the colors in the palette that you need for the lesson. You also got a paintbrush and a 16 by 20 canvas. If you are just following along with your own supplies, you could paint, you could draw, you can use um, colored pencils, oil pastels, crayons, whatever you prefer. Um, you are going to need a pencil. You are going to need some water if you are painting. You might want to get a paper towel as well and cover your work area, okay? Um, the colors that I'm going to be using today are like a, like a teal kind of blue, um, more of like a hot pink, a little bit of green for her headband, black, white, um, another shade of blue, like a little bit lighter, okay? Um, a little bit darker than the background. So those are basically, and a little bit of purple, those are basically the only colors that you're going to need, okay? So go and gather your materials and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so we are going to draw out Poppy Troll right now. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you use your eraser to kind of draw, if your eraser is a good eraser, you can help that, um, I'm sorry, you can kind of use that as your guide because it'll show up on your canvas. You can test it out on a piece of paper. Some erasers are really awful and they like leave a big pink mark, but this one is a really good eraser. So I could kind of use the eraser to sketch if you think you're gonna make a mistake. You could pause at any second also, like if you think I'm going too fast. Um, but I'm gonna actually just draw it right on there, okay? Um, it's more of just a portrait of her head. Um, we're not doing her body, okay? This is going to be hard enough for some of you, um, but if you follow these little directions, like step by step, you should be fine, okay? And the drawing part is gonna be the hardest part of, of the whole thing anyway. Um, the painting will be nice and easy, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold my art, my, I'm sorry, my canvas vertical, tall like a building, because that will give enough room for the hair and stuff. And I'm going to start by doing her face, and I'm gonna use an oval shape, and then I'm gonna use two, um, circle well oval shapes on either side for her ears one's going to be a little bit larger than the other so you can have it tilting or you can have it straight i'm going to do my drawing in the bottom portion of my canvas so i am going to draw that oval and notice that i went almost to the side but i'm leaving enough room for the ears so that's a very important thing you want to make sure that you're leaving enough room for the ears okay I am going to now draw the ear on the left side, which is pretty big, okay? But I, it's not going off the canvas. And then I'm going to do a smaller ear on this side, on the right side. Now, some of these lines might actually get erased, so it's important that you draw lightly. I wanna, I hope that you can see mine. I, I should be drawing a little darker so you can see. Um, we will be painting over all these lines, so. You won't see the lines, but it's just easier if you keep your um, pencil pretty light. That means just don't press as hard, okay? Now I'm gonna do her neck. I'm just gonna draw two little lines in the center of that oval, one, and then the other one's a little bit shorter. So I've got two lines. And then I'm gonna draw this portion of her shirt. It kind of reminds me of the letter M right there. So I'm going to, at the bottom of my canvas, actually you can start here. You can make it look like the inside of an M or like a long V, and then just bring it down to the bottom, okay? So you, as you can see, when you're finished, it kind of looks like an M with one of the sides a little bit higher. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Then I'm gonna put her little arm on. It looks kind of like a L. So I'm starting at the top of that little M. I'm gonna come out, or it looks like a sideways, sideways V, sideways V. I'm gonna draw two lines, that's for her arm. And then I'm gonna just draw a line that comes straight down on the other side. So it kind of makes it look like she's kind of off to the side a little bit, okay? Now the next thing I'm gonna do is the pieces of her hair. Now this is where you're gonna erase some things in, you know, in the future, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually draw like 
from the center of her head. I'm gonna go a little bit higher up. I'm gonna put a dot, okay? And that dot is going to kind of show me where her hair is going to fall. So I'm gonna take that dot and I'm gonna to go to the ear all the way down here, okay? And then I'm actually going to do a little bit more from the center of that line. This could get a little confusing. If you need to pause, you can. So I'm gonna go from one, from the dot to the ear, and then I'm gonna come down and do like a piece of her hair going in front of the ear. It kinda looks like a V. Okay, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine either. And then I'm going to take this dot and go to the ear over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another piece of hair just like I did there, but I'm doing it off to the side, not where it's covering the face. So now this one is gonna come off and go in front of this ear. So these lines could get a little bit confusing. So if you need to pause the video, pause the video. If you need to erase lines that you, you know, that we think we're not gonna need, you can do that too. But I just wanted to make sure it looked like her pieces of hair on either side, okay? This you're pretty much not even gonna see anyway. I just wanted you to have a starting point, okay? So now after we do that, we're going to make a little line in the ear. It's gonna look like a backward C. And then you're going to make a little line in this ear that looks like a regular C, just not, you know, just very, very, um, not so curvy, I guess, okay? Now I'm gonna put her headband on. So I am going to go from the ear right here to the other side over here, and I'm going to just draw kind of like a, just a line that is just going right over where all that hair would be. So from here, going up over her head. So I'm gonna take my pencil, and I'm going to go over, cross right over that line that we, or that dot that we used before, okay? So it almost looks like a like headphones, like you're going from one side to the other, okay? And then I'm gonna do another one right next to it, okay? I'm gonna put the flowers on in a little bit. Before I do the flowers, I just wanna show you where her hair is gonna go. So I'm gonna start at the ear and go all the way up to the top of my canvas, but I'm going to curve in at the end. So I'm starting at the ear, I'm coming out, and then I'm coming back in because it kind of gets a little bit tighter at the top. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm gonna come out a little and then go in, okay? So out a little and then come in, but not where they're touching, okay? We can always change that a little bit later when we're um, painting also, okay? So you can't see the tippy top of her hair. Maybe you did yours a little bit different and you can, that's completely fine. And then I'm gonna do, you could do three flowers, four flowers, but I'm just gonna use a circle. I'm gonna do four circles, two, three, four on her headband. And then I'm going to put four little leaves on each one. So I'm gonna do one here, one, and it's a little bit smaller than this one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do the same thing here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and they could be the same size or a little bit different, but this is just what I chose to do. You can do even more little petals if you wanted, okay? Now, the confusing thing is that part of this is going to be pink and some of it's going to be green, but when we get ready with our paintbrush, I'll be able to explain that to you a little bit better. Okay, so the only other thing that's left to do is her eyeballs. Okay, if you know how to draw a circle, you're gonna be just fine. So in the center of her head, and you wanna leave room for her mouth, you're gonna do two circles that are pretty close to each other, okay? They're gonna be almost touching, but leave a little bit of a space. So try to keep them the same size, okay? Then you're gonna do another little circle, a bigger circle, I'm sorry, not a little yet, a medium circle. That's where the color is going to go, the blue in her eyes. So this will stay white, and this and this will be blue, okay? And then we're gonna do the black part of the eye, which is the pupil. That's going to be another circle, but it's even smaller. So you're gonna have like three circles in one, okay? So you've got the outer circle, 
medium circle and the medium circle and now we're ready for the nose okay and the nose is going to be pretty much the whole width of the eyes it's not really tiny she's got like a wider nose so it, it kind of has like a it goes like into a little bump right here in the middle so you can either draw the little bump part in the middle and then do the sides almost like a little um, circle I don't even know how to explain the shape I think it's just easier if I just take my pencil and just show you how I'm gonna start on the one side and go over to the other. So I'm gonna go almost like a C, and I'm gonna come down in the center, and then I'm going to do a little half circle that goes up to her eye. I hope that I explained that correctly. It's just make sure it's the length of the eyes, okay? And then the mouth, there's two ways to do it. You could just make a cute little line right here, which is going to be the easiest, or you can make a line Okay, you could leave it like that, or you can make the teeth where you do one, two, three, four, and then a line right below it, okay? Either one is pretty easy for that, all right? Now, there's really nothing else left to draw except for if you wanna, you know, just draw out where her eyebrows are going to go, they're gonna go above her eyes to make her look happy. Um, and then she's got like this little pink cheek on either side you can do a light light circle for that so we know that the color is going to be different there but you really don't have to draw that okay so if this confused you at any point I apologize just take your time rewind the video and pause it whenever you need to okay what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this teal blue and I'm going to paint my entire background so right now if you're going to paint and you're ready just make sure you have your brush, you know, dip it into your paint and you're gonna start at the top of your canvas, work your way down and the whole background is going to be the same color, okay? And make sure you do your sides. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, you can pick whatever color you want, but I think that I'm gonna stick with the color that was here, okay? Okay, awesome job. This was definitely the most time consuming and I forgot to mention before that if your paint wasn't like spreading out, you can always dip it into like a tiny bit of water and it'll help spread it out. And I also wanna mention to make sure that you do the sides of your canvas and like the bottom, cause when you hang it up, it'll just look a lot better. Okay, now we're gonna use some of that pink. We're gonna do her face her ears and her arms, okay? Because they're gonna be the lighter pink and then I'm gonna show you how to make yours into a tiny bit of a darker pink. Um, if you purchase the kit from me, you should have both, but just in case, um, I wanna make sure that you know how to make the hair look different so it's not the same color as your face because that would look a little goofy, okay? So make sure your brush is really clean. You're gonna dip into some pink and we're gonna focus on the face for now. You can go right over those pencil lines because you should still be able to see them unless you want super duper duper light, okay? So I'm gonna start with the ear, okay? And if it touches that blue in the background, that color, that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the ear and I'm gonna put my paintbrush in a tiny bit of water and then put it on the canvas. Not so it's like dripping, but just so it helps spread out the paint a little bit. And it also lightens the color just a tiny bit. Okay, so there's the one ear. And now I'm going to do the other on the opposite side. If you get it on the hair, don't worry about that because you're gonna do pink for the hair too. Just I don't want you to get confused. Okay, so now we are going to do the face. I'm going to take my pink and I'm gonna start up at the top. Okay, and I'm gonna go all the way up to that like corner up here. It almost looks like a little triangle up at the top. Okay, and I'm gonna go right over my eyebrows. I'm gonna go right over them because I know where they are or I can just paint them on later. I'm gonna dip into a tiny bit of the water and I'm going to do this whole portion of the face. Okay, I'm just not gonna go over the eyes right now. I'm gonna leave that if I can. If you accidentally go over it, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go over the nose, which we're gonna actually do a darker pink eventually. The only thing that I'm gonna leave is the eyes for now. And like I said, if you go over it, it's fine. Okay, you're just trying your best. If you need to pause the video because I'm going a little fast, just pause the video, okay? Or you can rewind it. That's what I love about these videos is that, um, you know, if we were doing like a Zoom painting, 
sometimes some people are very fast, some people are very slow. And I like to, you know, give you the opportunity to pause something so that you're comfortable when you're working. Because like I said, I know that some of you are very quick and some of you just, you know, need a little bit more time. I'm also going to leave the mouth white. So if you can do that, fine. If you went over it, not a big deal either. Okay, so I did the ears, I did the face. Um, the hair is gonna be a little bit of a darker pink, but if you go over it, like I'm just gonna show you, if you go over it, you're still gonna see your lines there anyway, so you can actually go over it if you want. I just wanna show you what happens if you do go over it. I won't go over it on the other side. But you can paint that whole thing in, dipping into the water if you need it to spread out a little bit. That always helps spread it, but I can still see my pencil. Okay, and I know I told you to draw lightly, but even if you drew lightly, you should still be able to see it. Okay. Oops, and I have a little drip here. I'm just gonna, you can either take a paper towel, like a clean portion of your paper towel, and give it a little wipe, or you can do it with your finger. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, oops, I forgot her neck and her arms. So let me do that now. I'm going to dip into some of that pink. Do the arms, just not the shirt. But if you accidentally do the shirt, it's not a big deal. And her little neck, because your neck is the same color as your face. Okay. I am going to leave that just so I can show you that a different color pink is going to go here. Okay. So for now, I'm going to just stop for one second. I'm going to let you catch up. And then I'm going to show you how to do the darker pink mixed with a tiny bit of white and a tiny bit of, bit of purple up here. And I'm also going to show you how to do darker parts of the face and the hair. Okay, so if you need a break right now, take a little break. I will be back in one minute and I'm going to do a darker pink here. Okay, so I have my darker magenta color for up at the top. I'm also going to do the hair here. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Make sure your paintbrush is nice and clean. I'm gonna dip into the darker pink. I'm gonna do a couple, like this strand of hair that's in front of her ear. Okay, a little bit of a darker. And then I'm actually going to dip into a little bit more and almost like this whole entire section over here, like all of this is going to get painted. So here's like that one strand of hair and over here, all of this that's underneath the flowers and the headband and this little section here is going to get painted, okay? So I'm gonna do this part. Now you might wanna just use the tip of your brush for this. It's a little tricky, but I know that you will do a wonderful job no matter what. You just don't wanna paint paint on top of the, um, the little headband, okay? No matter what, if you make a mistake, it's easy to be fixed, but this is one of my more challenging paintings, but like I said, you could pause the video at any time. Okay, so now I've got this side done, and then I'm just gonna finish this side over here, because I, I kinda think that obviously this right here, I should have just done the dark pink too. So I'm gonna color that dark pink all the way up to the headband. If you accidentally go over the flower, don't worry about it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in front of the ear over here too. I'm just gonna do all that, that magenta color. And you just want it to kind of hang in front of her ear just a little bit. Okay. Like I said, this is one of my more challenging paintings. I actually want to do right here too, because I don't want her to look like she's kind of like bald up there, like she doesn't have her hair. So I'm gonna do a little bit here. Okay. And then I am pretty much done with this section. Okay, so if that was a little confusing, I apologize. But in the beginning of this video, I have the picture of what um, Poppy looks like. So maybe that would help you too if you um, either printed it out or had a little picture in front of you. Okay, so this is pretty big over here with her hair. And then I have like one little strand here, but they, it should go in front of the ear a little bit. So if you didn't draw it that way, that's fine. Just make sure it goes in front of the ear a little bit, like it's kind of hanging down. Okay, now I'm gonna actually outline that little C that was in my ear, and I'm going to do the other side. Or well, this is the backwards C. This was like the one that looked like it was going forwards. And now I'm going to do all of this, just with this magenta color. 
And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add some different like purple and white in there so it looks like it's all different colors, okay? I am gonna get back and do the nose and stuff in a minute, but I wanna do this first, okay? So you get your magenta and you're gonna do all up in here for now and then we'll um, focus on some of the strands of hair and a little bit more of the pink in a minute. Or the magenta, sorry. Alrighty, so my hair is still a little bit wet and this is when I wanna clean off my brush and then I'm gonna dip into white and I'm gonna make like little strands of hair, okay? And it doesn't have to be like a bright white, you can kind of mix it into the pink a little bit. You could also use a little bit of purple too if you wanna make like darker um, sections of the hair, okay? So I'm gonna do a little bit of white. I'm just dipping it in and using the tip of my brush. You can also do it down here in the sections of her hair that are kind of by her face, okay? So I'm just kind of going, I'm not going side to side, I'm going up and down. Dipping in a little bit more, okay? Just to make it look like there's different highlights in her hair, okay? And then I'm gonna use a little bit of purple. I didn't even clean off my brush, I just kind of right in there okay and if it's a little too dark for you you could just keep mixing it but I like to go up and down so I can create dark sections of the hair and light sections and I'm also going to do a little bit near her face okay and like I said if you end up doing too much and you're like oh man I just did too much you could always just take your magenta and go right back over it again okay so look I'll just take my budget my magenta and I can go right back over it, okay? But this is just to create different highlights in our hair. See, mine I did real purple right here, but I like it, okay? I'm going to clean it off and just add a tiny bit of white, and then I'm going to use that magenta again to show you how to do her eyebrows, her nose, and her little cheeks, okay? So, clean off your brush. Dry it off on your paper towel. My paper towel is like a mess right now, okay? And then I'm gonna dip into my darker pink, the magenta, and I'm going to do my little eyebrows. They're gonna go above her eyes. I'm also going to do my nose, or her nose. I'm gonna outline it first, and then I'm just gonna fill it in. And it's just slightly darker than that other pink, so it looks good, okay? And then I'm going to do a little outline of her um, face down here so you can kind of, just this part right here, just a little bit. Okay, you don't even have to do that part if you don't want to, I just chose to kind of separate it a little. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of blue for her shirt. Okay, I kind of messed this up a little bit, but I can just use a little water and mix it. All right, I'm gonna use some blue for her shirt. I've got a darker blue. If you purchase the kit, you'll see that you do have that darker, a slightly darker. You only need a tiny bit of it. So I only gave you a real tiny bit, okay? You're just gonna outline her shirt. If you need help spreading out the paint, you can always dip into your water, okay? I'm also going to do her eye color the same blue, okay? And it's definitely different than my background. The background is more of like a turquoise blue. You don't want this to be the same color or it'll kind of blend in, right? So this color blue is the same that I'm going to do in the second little circle in her eye. So you've got the white portion and then use your tip of the brush for the medium, put the blue in there, and then the black is going to go in the little circle, the pupil. And I don't think there's any other blue areas of this moment. Hang on one second, Bryn. Okay. Um, okay. So clean off your brush. I'm going to, oh, I forgot the flowers. I was like, wait, there's something else. Okay. So those flowers should be that same color. So I'm going to do the flowers. I'm going to paint all those in. Then I'm going to paint this portion green where the headband is. You have a little bit of green for that. And then I'm going to use a tiny bit of yellow for the inside. Okay. So I'm gonna do the blue with the tip of my brush, all of my petals blue. 
I'm gonna do this portion green and then the center I'm going to do um, yellow, okay? After that, I'm gonna take a little bit of paint. I'm gonna put it on the tip. I'm gonna do my eyes black and the inside of my mouth, not where my teeth are, but the other side. So it's only two little tiny sections. And then I have a couple other little touch-ups that I wanna do and then we'll be all done, okay? So you're gonna need the blue, clean off your brush, green, clean off your brush, and then yellow. Okay, so great job with the green, great job with the blue, great job with the yellow. Um, the, the face, the eyes, everything looks great. The only other couple of things that we need to do is the white for the teeth and the, um, the eyes, okay? And that's like, you just wanna make sure everything's pretty dry when you're doing this so that you don't blend it with the blue. Okay, so I did this eye, I'm doing this other eye. I'm going to do my teeth. And like I said, make sure everything is really dry when you're doing this part, because if not, it's going to blend with the black or the blue and it's gonna get all over, okay? The other little thing that we could do is put some paint on the end of your brush or this end of your brush and you're just going to put like a little speck in her eye, okay? And then if you wanna do some eyelashes, you could do some eyelashes and you wanna do the pink cheeks, you're just gonna need a little bit of that magenta. Water it down just a little. Put little pink cheeks. Okay, there's a little pink cheek. I just watered it down just a little. Here's a little pink cheek. And then add some white dots to that as well. So clean off your brush and then dry it. I'm just trying to talk really loud because my dogs keep barking. They're gonna drive me nuts. Okay, and then like some little white specks with the end of your brush. Okay, I must say this is the first time I've ever done Poppy Troll. Hope it wasn't too hard for you, but like I said, you can pretty much stop the video at any time. Okay, if you want to do some eyelashes, just very, very little. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, and kind of off to the side a little bit more. Okay, and then if there's anything you want to outline with the black, or if there's anything you want to add, um, feel free to add that now or pause the video and then come back. But I'm pretty much done besides signing my name. Um, you can outline certain things with the black to make it pop out if you want, or you can leave it completely like this if you choose. Um, whatever, whatever you choose, I'm sure it looks amazing. And I hope that you had fun. I know it was a little bit more challenging if you've been following my videos, but I've been really wanting to do the trolls theme. Um, for quite some time now, so I hope that you had fun. And if you're one of my students, make sure you send me a picture of what you did. If you're just somebody following along with your own materials, I hope that you had fun. Um, and I hope that I see you next time. And if you ever wanna share anything on my page, feel free to share. Um, and if you live in my area and you are wanting to have an art party or creative party at your house for adults or children, just contact me on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page and I'd be more than happy to um, you know, answer any questions that you have, okay? I hope you have a great day and thanks again for painting with me.